What's bragging guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my UFC Utrecht career mode. So definitely excited to get going with this one here. Gonna have a two big matchups and a little bit of transfer business here. But I definitely am, you know, looking to kind of evaluate this squad a little bit more in this transfer window. I did want to go after Fad Amulad, but uh, I did have some trouble with him, unfortunately. He would have been great, but uh, we already do have Tommy Orr, and I'm excited to uh, see how Verbeek grows. But you see, we went after Javier Gomez, a very good Mexican center mid. Um, you'll see here, we get some loans out, which is great to see. Get some of our young guys. Uh, get them some t playing time and the like but uh, as I was saying Javier Gomez very good Mexican center mid who can also play center defensive mid I think he will be great for us because as you can see uh, we did have some trouble uh, the main trouble is going to be with this 4-3-3 with advance with basically two center mids and a, a center attacking mid as we get into this first game uh, definitely as they, they do have the same lineup as is essentially I've seen so many 4-3-3s in the Dutch league uh, of course that is kind of a prototypical Dutch style it seems like they do like those especially that high tempo attacking formations but uh you can see here we're getting to this look taking a look at our lineup really no changes from the previous fixtures but uh excited to see how boyman's plays and really want to get rubio rubin growing going as well as fuentes of course very good uh center mid slash right back for us but you'll see here you're going to get a chance off the bat here in this first half uh it was definitely a scrappy match ball is going to fall back here try to clear it out they do win the header ball is going to fall back and just look at this um, just the def defense was so chaotic could not get that deflection could not block that as they do go up here early in the matchup uh, it's just a very scrappy goal right here couldn't do too much but of course it could have been a lot more organized defensively as it was so chaotic over there as they do go up now but you'll see we're going to try to come back and get this equalizer you see Boyman's coming on the wing using his strength the big man here to off defenders and play this ball to Vetterbeek ball's going to fall to Rubio Rubin does a good job touching it down but uh, it just was such a tight space. It was always going to be tough there. But Rubin is going to run at the defense now. With a little bit of space, see what he can do with it. Play this ball here for Boymans. And look at that. Uh, just again, that defense was so good from Heraklis. Uh Always tough to play teams like them. You can see they're coming back on the counterattack. Exactly. This is why I was going after Guamans, basically. Uh, we need a good center defensive man. We need to play more defensively, essentially having more... Uh, compact formation they're coming back here just really not much help from the midfield to be honest as this deflection comes here unfortunately we go down 2-0 uh, but uh, it, really that was kind of that's the issue with this formation uh, having trying to get the players to come back it takes a while because of course when you have Ruben who is essentially a center attacking man behind the striker he just is not going to have the defensive chop he's not going to cut back come back as much as much even if you set him to essentially but uh, you'll see here a great job from Boyman's uh, just tremendous with his head tremendous in the air and I you'll see in the replay his run to find that space was absolutely amazing of course you can see here that was some great play as well because very beak on the assist but look at that goal from him. So kind of verifying why I'm not going after a winger yet. Uh, so definitely still think Verbeek looked pretty good for this season. He's only on loan. But we'll see. We might be able to bring him back in the next season. Then, of course, we have Tommy Orr here. You can see he's going to try to run at the defense. Beats his defender. Great job. He's going to have all this space. We're late in the matchup. Now, Boyman tries to take the one-touch volley. But it uh, looks like it was either deflected or a miss hit. Very hard to tell from that angle. But, uh... We do lose this one. I thought it was pretty close in essence, but uh, they probably decided they, they deserved to win essentially because uh, our formation just did not help us in those instances. So 2.2 million euros for Javier Gomez, a very good young center mid, uh, and he's going to be able to grow quite a bit. I think he's going to fit well for us in the Dutch league. I think he's going to be able to play right away and contribute and be tremendous as we can take a look at him as overall and the like later on. Um, we do get that transfer offer excited, but as I said, I would I was thinking about bringing the uh, young player in Fad Amualad, but uh, unfortunately that did not work out. But uh, we do have Tommy Orr already, so if we do tell sell Orr, we'll definitely be looking to uh, make some changes. So of course, Gomez was uh, essentially confirmed, and now he's going to be available for this huge match against Ajax. Definitely wants to kind of make up for that drop point, those drop points in the previous matchup. And this would be a huge way to make up for, it. as you can see, Gomez coming here is a bit on the smaller end for a CM slash CD. But uh, that's not a problem with me uh, because I think, you know, we're a little bit more focused on ball retention and the like. And, you know, he just has to be in the right spots to win the ball back. And uh, so definitely think it'll be great now. Of course, Ruby, Ruby or Ruben gets dropped, unfortunately. But uh, definitely think uh, he can still make an impact off the bench. Of course, Ajax has some great players. Algazi is such a, a promising youngster. And 
hopefully uh, we do not let him have a huge game against us here. We see some good build up play here. Ayub is a good job. The ball is going to fall back here to Fuentes. Going to play the ball through to Verbeek. He's going to get latch onto this one. And look at this. Fuentes tries to go for the header. Just not in the right place. And that was Boyman's. He wins that and think we're up a goal there. But uh, unfortunately it was Fuentes. But coming back here uh, down the wing. The right wing here. You can send this beautiful cross in to Boyman's again. He's going to hit that wide unfortunately. So uh He's been getting in great spots. He's been showing that ability to not good contact there, um, which is expected from time to time, so we'll take that. But uh, either way, some good stuff right here, forcing this free kick from our right back on that occasion. You can draw the yellow card there. So that's not a very interesting spot for a free kick because of course you could go uh, with a cross into the box right here or we could go direct. I decided to try to go direct here with the left winger Tommy Orr he's going to force a save the ball is going to fall back here to Verbeek who wins it off of a poor attempted clearance he's going to get taken down in the box for a penalty could we steal a goal early here against Ajax you could definitely argue we, de we deserved one uh, at least one with some of the chances we had but um, this would be great to get ourselves on the board possibly get a result against a huge side in this league as you can see just completely taken down he just flipped over like crazy could have hurt his shoulder or something you know with that type of uh, contact so Boyman's of course who has been in solid form he's going to come up here step up and take this you see the big man coming up he's gonna take his time and he's going to blast this to the right um, of the keeper there so definitely a good well very well taken as you can see Ayub coming over celebrating with him and it's a definitely huge to have this lead right now definitely have to be careful though the balls me sent into El Ghazi and look at him he's just gonna head that over probably should have done it a lot better with that chance but he could say that for some of the chances we had so uh, this result is fairly close um, but you see a very bad uh, pass there but a huge deflection to save what looks like may have been a goal so uh, good job from our defense making up for from some poor passing as you can see the deflection coming in again late there great stuff to keep this game uh, in our hands here keep ourselves ahead you can see this was a very good shot here look at that just completely blasted at the keeper and uh one out nothing happened on that corner kick thankfully again they're still trying to push forward see what they have here cut the ball back to the middle uh, and they're going to look go back out wide you can see again a great first time uh, attempt but uh, the build up was great but the shot uh, unfortunately wasn't the best but you'll see coming down here Guamez is going to push forward he has that ability despite being uh, center mid slash CDM who's been on the defense side but look at this ball's going to cut back to Gomez and look at that finish there I tried to see if it took a deflection or not and kind of looked like it did but it looks like uh, either way it's a goal and that's his first goal in his debut uh, which is great regardless I uh, may have hit his hand or something it might have just been you know the way the ball spinned with the uh, water and the like but either way it's a tremendous goal to basically try to put the game away but we had another chance here Peterson who's one of our late subs who's a right winger for us gonna play the ball to Ruben he's gonna cut back in look at him running at the defense just very quick and elusive and he tries to take the shots deflected and another deflection there unfortunately as we look to try to grab a third it would have been great to get Ruby or Ruben a goal if his first professional goal just get him into form because he's in bad form as well unfortunately so uh Hopefully we can get him a goal eventually to uh, get things going for his career. But we'll actually take a look at some of the guys I have shortlisted. Just MLS players at the moment. But uh, uh, I was recommending Josie's artist, so we may look at, take a look at him on a pre-contract. I know many people do, so uh, you guys would kind of want to decide on that for me. Should I bring uh, him in? in the next season we actually have a shot at Fabian Castillo tremendous left mid slash left winger unless he does sign a contract or the like uh, we may have a good shot at, to bring him in on a pre-contract he's a tremendous four-star skiller tons of pace a quality finisher uh, so it definitely would be great to bring him in as we did bring in some other guys with the loan business but now we're gonna be playing Feyenoord here definitely gonna be a tough matchup they have so many good young players of course we have to be careful with them uh, definitely is gonna be a tough fixture as they're also coming with the 4-3-3 again just all we're seeing at the moment uh so definitely once you get things going here and uh there's so many good 
good young players in general in the Dutch league, I have to say. It's interesting to see to be coming up with so much uh, good young talent basically every game, as you see here. Still with that 4-3-3. Uh, thankfully, I've had no injuries or anything yet. Hopefully, I don't jinx it here. But uh, it's great to be able to have that type of consistency in the squad now that we can um, try to adjust to this more defensive 4-3-3 here. But you see them coming down the wing, uh, of course, this is always the channel, you know, the computer likes to exploit. Uh, and you'll see this ball put in. And what a deflection it looked like from one of our uh, defenders there. Looked like it was just a, basically a wide open header. No contact there, and that's gone. But you see, it again, they came out firing. Another chance from them. But the ball is being played out wide here for Tunstra. The ball is being cut back in here. Just completely looks like he was taken out, but no foul called. And look at that, just a great finish. Um, unfortunately, our defense again was out of sorts there. We may need to bring in, uh, may want to look to move Fuentes to right back. I'm not sure yet, though, but I definitely think of some changes and the like. So uh, we'll see how that goes coming up. But a very good direct ball here. Verbeek is going to beat his defender. Send it in to Boymans, and he hits that wide. That should have been a goal from the big man there. He has been good throughout this season so far, so I cannot fault him too much, but that just would have been huge. So we're going to try to grab that equalizer here late in the matchup now, well into the second half, switching to a diamond formation uh, essentially, bring on Ruben and uh, Aler, our one of our other backup strikers. Look at this from Tommy Orr. So elusive here. Ball's going to be sending two Boymans. Trying to flick it back in. Uh, I might have been trying to go for after, after goal as well. I can't remember exactly. But uh, either way, we cannot win this one, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, or equalize, essentially. Would have been great to come back with that Ajax match after the Ajax match to grab at least a draw here. But uh, again, we're still a young team. Still have to make some adjustments to this squad. So hopefully we can get into good form. As you know, we're going to take a look at the squad report uh, fairly quickly. You can see Luin is going to move up. Guemes is moving up him as well as Cesar Fuentes. So definitely have a very promising midfield with Guemes, Fuentes, and Ayub. Uh, if he grows just a little bit, he'll be even, even better uh, as you'll see. But Rubio Rubens is in bad form, unfortunately. Hoping he can start to grow up. Peterson, right winger that we played out. Herrings is looks good there as a backup center back, but uh, we have some other plays here. The Mares looks to be could be fairly promising. Another guy we haven't used here in Barazit. Uh, definitely wants to may give him a chance eventually, at least in some cut matches, guys. But. Uh, Again, rounding out this episode now, we'll take a look at the uh, table. Seeing there in 12th, definitely we have a game in hand over quite a few teams. So uh, hopefully we can come back and move up into that table, push closer to those European spots. Love to be playing European football next season. So uh, hopefully we can make that happen with either uh, through the league or a cup run would be great as well. But we are going to take a look at who we'll be playing in the next episode. I plan, of course, to be do doing at least three games per episode from now on. It usually will be less only if we're in the transfer window. There's a lot of transfer business like there was in the previous episode. But uh, you'll see all the, the f teams we'll be playing in the next episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next one coming up shortly. And I'll catch you guys later.